and it's Gordo here from Gordo's Games. We're back for some more Digimon TCG content. Uh, so I'm back today on behalf of Elite and TCG uh, with another deck profile fuel. I'm not going to bore with the details yet, we're going to go straight into it. But if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you know when all this great content goes live for you. Go to the setup. Here we are, um, I'm back on Digimon Club, just to make things a little bit easier and clearer if you will. Um, so, first hint as to what the deck will be is on the top line. So it is indeed Shaman. Um, with this being an OTK meta, it does give us the chance to kind of use Shaman DX before x Rose completely takes over. Um, because the deck, deck just does so much within its meta it's in. Um, so just get a chance to use some of these old pieces and really kind of kind of push for games. I will say, first things first with this one, the only thing this deck is missing is the ability to have piercing. That would completely change the dy dynamic of this deck, whereas I think it would be a lot more prominent. But the same token, I do think this is, has good some good early aggression, as well as good OTK potential. So, go into the card. So here we're starting off, we've got four Gorimon. Uh, the reason being, we get some inherent, you know, we get some buffs with the Shaman here, Argomon, things like that, it's a 2k buff Greymon. Uh, I just don't think 1k is valid enough to make the most use out of it. But if I can, if I use this, I can use this in conjunction with things like Beta Gamma, which is 6k body, so you go that into Shaman, into this, it's 8k, swing in for one check, and you get to draw a card. Or I go this, this, it's swinging 6k, and I'm getting to draw two cards, allowing me to cycle cards very quickly. Um, the only other cards you can look at, you, things like Demi Merrimon, uh, just to try and get that aggression, or you can go Kaporimon if you have a Red Tamer out, but I just don't think they're worthwhile as much. Kaporimon is generically just a very good draw card, a draw engine for Red. Uh, moving on to our draw power, we run four Shoutmons on play, reveal five cards with top of your deck and add one Digimon card with Shoutmon is theme and one Digimon card with Blitz. It allows you to set up your hand very well. Uh, it's a very good card overall. Um, so you can add things like your other Shoutmons. You can add your Omni Shouts. You can add your Z Greymons, your Shoutmon DX, your Omni Ones. Um, it gives you that flexibility to, to stack the missing piece for yourself overall. Uh, moving on, we run the Shoutmon, which is if this one has Blitz, trigger draw one. Just allows us to kind of cycle more cards a little bit quicker. Um, um, just just really is a good consistency card, and it's a Shoutmon. Always handy to be able to filter things into your hands from additional searches for this. Uh, we run two vanilla cards. This can be whatever you want it to be. Mono, Bio, anything like that. Uh, the only reason we run like that is potential memory choke uh, to get an extra body out on board and the capacity of trying to build on board. You'll put on three, throw it out, and you've still got something decent um, level Digimon in Raisin. You add the Bio one, you go into a Grey one or an uh, a Beta Gamma one. However, you want to play into it, just to put them at one. Things like that can be rather helpful. Um, Vanillas aren't played as much as they used to be, but they, do, they can come up as just the space fillers. I don't think anything prominently changes this because we don't unfortunately have things like memory stoppers. Um, otherwise, that would be this hands down. Uh, I've opted for the Argomon with the 1k buff generically. The reason being is we do run a Z Greymon still. And if your opponent has nothing in raising, no other threats whatsoever, and just one Digimon on board, there is absolutely nothing wrong with just taking out the stack. And this could be that 1k buff that you need to do so. Uh, moving on, so we've run 13 rookies at the first point, 12 level 4s, 8 level 5s, 7 level 6s, and 4 level 7s. We run 2 of the Greymon buffer, uh, 2000 dB, and it's a generic buff, which does apply to anything at the top end. Uh, to a Goonimon, you know, hybrid for game, we want to try and see those as much as possible. This is still playing the, the kind of playstyle of an OTK deck, so these are your win cons. Uh, Beta Gamma for that early aggression and to draw power. Uh, Great one X anti to supplement for no delicate plans basically. Um, we want something that can just stop you from being bounced, losing your entire stack, or being deleted. 
doesn't get around ultimate flares and things like that can hinder this net but you can build your stacks well enough to get around ultimate flare where it actually benefits you i had a game earlier on whereas i'd gone into shatman dicks at the top if i had like two more zeeks underneath no sorry i'd gone zeeg shatman zeeg shatman the ultimate flare i went down to being a zeeg um the final check went through afterwards unfortunately i did hit another ultimate flare but if i'd stayed at the zeeg great one i hadn't done another omni in hand to go for game so there are circumstances where that can actually play in your favor uh, but be, be mindful when you are doing things like that ultimate fair is a thing if you put a level three underneath your dx because you want an extra draw an extra 2k buff ultimate flare will stop there and just kill that stack so be mindful of that stacking the cards in the correct manner is very important um two secure attack plus grain ones um we have other things to give a security check so i didn't feel i needed to max out to four of these the two is enough uh, there is flexibility on that and then if you if you do think you want two um units for game or you want a third one of this and just one of this you have got flexibility there things like the bait on that i wouldn't really shift them because they are good early aggression we on to level fives now this was the interest part from destin so i, I did some testing this originally um what many showers are given it's given secure attack plus one so it fits the height the ot game meta um if i've missed level fours i can use effect digivolve straight up into this one uh skipping level four overall and just allows to keep in the game to some tempo but instead of omni shout x anti um i've gone for metal gray x anti the reason being is because being able to get the, get put this digimon down you get secure attack plus one from it just from it when digivolving so with Blitz being part of the deck, you go into this, then go into a Zeke or something, you're swinging for two checks there. Or you go into a uh, Shout on DX, so you go Metal Grey, Shout on DX, put an Omni Shout and stack, and there's three checks you're doing. So you're looking to try and push the game as quick as possible. Uh, obviously we've got no way to get to get a zero cost Evo, which we would be great to get the 3k buff off of a Metal Grey one, because we do need the Omni Shout, we do need to have something in line to uh, help us get a few additional checks through inheritables and it's good for this card just for search capacity um i don't i, I have i was considering a 2-2 split with the omni shout this one x anti um but i don't feel like the new x anti omni shout does enough overall the your, your turn effect is good um you can swing into your opponents and suspend digimon as long as you have x anti in stack or Omni Shout, which is nice. But I feel like it's playing into, uh, too slow into this current map. Because if they say it's on board, they're never going to raise that. They're just going to build it to their full stack. Whilst you're sat there with your Omni Shout X Ante. Um, and the other effect is get, when Digivolt against Blitz. Comes up sometimes, but not very often from when I used it. It was never the case of I pass turnover to, uh, to obviously go, you know, swing with Blitz with it. It always seems the case I had the Omni Shout, went into Omni Shout, X Anti, and then into Zeeg, into the Shout one, which both have Blitz already. Uh, moving on from that, we run 3 Zeeg Greymon, or Shout on DX. Normally this used to be a 4 4 split, but I have gone for 3 in the Zeeg to try and make some space for other things. Um, but Digimon, when Digimon has Blitz, and when this Digimon attacks with Blitz, it also attacks your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. Inheritance will let you control the board a bit by allowing things like Shoutmon DX or Omnimon to swing it directly into your opponent's digital. Now, Shoutmon DX's other effect generally doesn't come up in most matchups, but it can come up in some of them. For instance, Armor Rush, um, it can come up in those to the point of just trying to clear off a few additional rookies they have. Imperial Jamon, taking out Stingmon's XVs can be very crucial. Um, otherwise, most things are stuck in Razor and building up to an OTK, so you don't see them see much as much value out of that as possible. So you are really using it to just place a source of need to get additional checks, if, if anything, or give yourself that additional buff. But Digimon does get Blitz and allows you to place any red, di uh, red Digimon card from, from your hand at the top of this Digimon Digivolution card. Then, for each Omni Shower or Z Gramer in this Digivolution's cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 5000 DP or less. You have the potential chance to at least pop two th two things at least every time you do this whole combo quite easily to be honest so it is very good for those control matchups especially against imperial 
Um, the only thing with that one is you have to try and keep up with the deck overall. After that, Blitz Omnifa came. Uh, the deck is based around Blitz. It's got a card that allows you to search Blitz and add it to hand. Uh, it's generally just a helpful card to have. If you go in to, to finish your turn, if you don't finish closing out the game, it's got its protection clause in place. Um, where if it would delete this item or return it to the hand, you could remove a level 6. We do have multiple level 6 you can stack in there, so you can do that multiple times. As well as we do have the Great Manic's Anti for additional protection clauses. So, generally very helpful um, to do these things. Great Manic's Anti does allow us to like ditch both of these if, uh, if for instance, you've gone into Shout 1 DX and you've gone Shout 1 Z, Shout 1 on top, and it's something else. You can just ditch two level sixes if you haven't if you've not gone to blitz somebody. You have multiple ways to protect you, your Digimon overall. Moving on from that, we do run two X anti on it omnis. Um, the reason being card is very good um, to obviously control against the green matchup, particularly because of how quick grandness can be and the fact it can swing over your suspended Digimon. Uh, sorry, not, not your unsuspended, it can swing into your suspended Digimon because it will swing, suspend something, unsuspend, swing over it. And you lose your entire board and you can't keep temper with this you shut down that entire play because they can't do anything outside of that unless there are any nid hogs or something to bomb deck the card in any sort of fashion uh, but then like we said things like this if it was uh, if it returned to your hand or deck you may trash two cards so you have multiple different ways to stop these things happening so this has a little bit more play with the fact of being able to detach source uh, detach sources for protection for green one or detach source to stop attacks so it was bought in both bases now the flex spots here around the options are completely they're very varied to be i'm going for two guy force because i feel like bigger stacks you need to have something to deal with them there are things like dark gray and things like that to stop them from getting blown up there are the red matchup you've got the gray ones and that but things like um melga they don't have protection clauses in place obviously they have maybe may run delicate plans grandis no protection clauses in place but having things like this on and help overall change the uh, tempo of the game massively. Following that, we have the ex antimony option. Um, it gains a memory from security and adds the hand. Like, it's like a major hammer. As well as you can swing with it. So let's say we go to Shamble DX, we go into Omni. And then we've got this underneath prior to it, all this. Go Omni, swing, over to ex anti. Allowing us not only to you know do all the things we need to do on suspend. And that stuff we can then go into omni x anti swing and do what we need to do and then we can slow down that's coming our way but overall it is a, it's a handy interaction uh, to, to play off we don't get much else from the x anti option there thereabouts but being able to stop things from trashing sources of the bottom of decks like this when you're running things like tie is quite a handy thing because you do want to make sure the tie here is you know those additional checks Obviously, this deck can stack very quickly in multiple levels. Um, so again, this setup is pretty easy, as well as some memory set reset for the deck. But that is Shaman DX. Uh, I do feel like it has some form of place in the meta to an extent. Um, whether I think it's a one to anything like that, I wouldn't even want to speculate at this point. I would be likely to say it's rogue. Because I think if you're playing something like this, you would catch a few people off guard. But it's definitely within a position to play within the metal because of its style of play. It is an OTK deck. It's just a very different version overall because you're not running as many of like a singular arch type of X antis. Like for example, Greymon X antis. You run the Argo X anti. You run the Greymon X anti. You run the Metal Grey X anti. You keep everything within it in its own particular arch type. This one, not so much. You're using a lot of different techs try and help push the deck into this meta and obviously push forward for games because realistically um ideal stack wise room on shout one this one here is to the 2k buff because we want to try and get as much buffs as we can and 2k will put shout one to 14k not particularly the safest i'll be completely honest um when it comes down to swinging because only one uh, alpha, uh, alpha mono, you can X anti things like that. 
there's various things that can that can crash with easily. So we want the 2k to get us the 14, so we're over majority level 6s, but we're at mercy level 7s. Now, depending, uh, realistically you always want this one, without question, because you want to get this cure checks off, you want to push the game as quick as possible. But if you are playing into a more safer way of playing it, you have got this as a, on the back banner, which is a 2k buff. Um, to making your shout one DX 16k, which can still obviously die to alpha month or you can move, but at the end of the day, um, you're over the threshold of most other things, to be honest. You gotta take the camp. So we only want to go into this one or this one here, and then we'll go into our Grimax next anti for a protection clause. Omni shout. All metal, all metal grey, to be honest, it doesn't matter. Realistically, metal grey would be a first choice. Uh, the reason being, we go into this, we can go into this, the swing. Or we go into this, we go into this, and then we stack Omni Shout underneath to give us two additional security checks rather than just the one from this. Adding this into source is pointless. You kind of want to be digivolving up into this as much as possible and getting that additional check followed by the blitz afterward. And then you want to go Omni. Obviously, if you can keep turn with Shout Mod DX. Um, Stack one of these underneath it and have this and this. You're living the dream. Um, but there, that's that's shout on DX. Barmies, let me know what you think. Drop me some comments in the book there below if you had a chance to test it or if you've got any thoughts or input because I'm always open to ideas when it's shout one because particularly it's one of my uh, my favourite decks of the past. And it'd be interesting to see if it gets any more play this this set. So thanks for joining us, Gordon's Games, leading TCG. Appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you know when this content goes live for you. Thanks for tuning in.